Welcome back to episode two of Weird Animal Facts Parrot Edition. I'm Mackenzie. Now I'm here with today's assistant Cortez to talk all about parrot beaks and tongues. In our last episode, we talked about how parrots use their feet to help them get around. Now, did you know that a parrot's beak and their feet actually share a lot of similarities? Mm -hmm. For instance, parrots will use their beak almost like a third foot to help them maneuver around their forest home. Also, just like those toenails, the beak is covered in a thin layer of a material called keratin that never stops growing, just like those nails. Parrots will do things like eat, chewing on hard objects, and even digging to help make sure their beak doesn't overgrow. A parrot's beak is also very, very strong. It works like a nutcracker to help them get right down into the good parts of seeds and nuts. Now, a parrot's tongue is another very useful tool for helping them get to their food. Can you show everyone your tongue? Thanks, Cortez. That tongue actually has a bone in it. Well, mm. technically it's a group of bones called the hyoid apparatus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The hyoid controls the shape of the tongue and the ability for the tongue to extend and detract, where the paraglossum and the other bones help control tongue movement and keep the hyoid apparatus in place. Now, the wrinkled skin called the epithelium on the outside of his tongue actually allows his tongue to stretch a little bit more. Now, how does this help him with getting into his food? Well, his tongue will actually turn the seed or nut to line the groove up with the crushing power of his lower mandible, then hold that food item in place while he cracks into it. He is then able to use his tongue to sort out the good parts from the inside and discard the shells on the ground, just like how you might eat sunflower seeds. Now, seeds and nuts aren't the only thing Cortez is good at eating. Check him out as he eats an apple. Do you see how he takes the peel off the soft, sweet part on the inside? How about the next time you have an apple, you try to eat it like that? Well, maybe not if your parents are teacher around. It can get a little messy. Well, I think that's all we have for you today. Right, Cortez? Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.